Almighty Father, we commit to you this broadcast. We ask for your wisdom and understanding through the guidance of the Holy Spirit to tackle everything and anything that will bless the heart of all Filipinos in Australia and everyone participating in this podcast. May your kindness and goodness be imparted to all our viewers and supporters. Let your name be glorified in everything that we do and see today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Papa Kiko is presented by Presence Filipino Church. Listening together the name of Jesus, the Filipino way. We congregate together every third Saturday of the month. See you at the third floor of Surf City Building, 3046 Surfers Paradise Boulevard, Gold Coast, Queensland. Contact us at 0401383444. Follow Presence Filipino Church on IG and FB. Presence Filipino Church. May tahanan ka dito. Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Papa Kiko is brought to you by Avida Tower Sukat from Ayala Land International Sales Incorporated. Call 995-458-9511. Avida Tower Sukat, your kind of home, your kind of perfect. Avida Tower Sukat, your kind of home, your kind of perfect. Enjoy the selection of Filipino bread favorites and more at My Portion Bakery, number 322 Yanji Bap Road, Yanji Bap WA. Follow them on Instagram at My Portion underscore Bakery. Like them on Facebook at My Portion Bakery. Sarap ng Tinapay Pinoy at My Portion Bakery. Bread made with passion. Kababayan, we know you miss the Philippines. Dito sa Lami Ay Kaayo, feeling at home tayo. Visit Lami Ay Kaayo Filipino Restaurant, Gold Coast Highway, Mermaid Beach. Visit facebook.com slash Lami Ay Kaayo. Lami Ay Kaayo, the taste of the Filipino cuisine. Panoorin ang iba't ibang episode ng Pinoy Australia The Podcast with DJ Papa Kiko sa YouTube. At huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe sa aming channel. Usapong Pinoy, enjoy Pinoy! Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Papa Kiko. Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 9 p.m. NSW time, 6 p.m. Manila time. Live on Facebook and YouTube at Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. Pinoy, enjoy Pinoy. Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Papa Kiko on a uh, Saturday, the 5th of the month, 2021. Welcome to the show. Ako po si DJ PK Papa Kiko joining you tonight. Mga kababayan natin down under all over Australia, mga fellows, maraming salamat for checking us out. At sa mga nanonood ng replay natin. At sa mga kababayan natin sa nasa, na nasa Pilipinas o nasa ibang bagay ng mundo, thank you. Thank you for checking us out. Ito po ang Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. We're being watched live sa facebook.com slash Pinoy in Australia, the podcast, and youtube.com slash Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. Also, ang ating audio form, mapapakinggan sa Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, and iTunes. So maraming paraan to check out your Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ PK. Papa Kiko, and this show is being presented by 
Presence Filipino Church. May tahanan kayo dito sa Gold Coast, Australia. Call 040-1383444. Look for Pastora Diane David for prayer request or may kayong question paano kayo maging part ng uh, Presence Filipino Church. 040-1383444. And also, thank you to Ayala Land International Sales Incorporated. Check out Avida Tower Sukat. Call 995-45. 89511 sa mga naghahanap ng investment sa Pilipinas check out Avida Tower Sukat courtesy of our friends from Ayala Land International Sales Incorporated again welcome po sa Pinoy in Australia the podcast share niyo po yung video sa mga friends niyo kung kayo ay uh, mahilig mag voice over alam mo yung lahat tayo voice over may halimbawa meron kang Halimbawa, meron kang ano, meron kang nabasa sa likod ng isang rapper ng isang produkto habang naliligo ka binabasa mo yung dandruff uh, 100% can get 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 rid of mga ganyan of dandruff yung mga ganyan. Sa tayo kahit pa, somehow I believe gusto nating parang maging voice over. Pag nakasakay tayo ng eroplano, somehow ginagaya natin sa isip natin yung yung announcement on board. Yung mga ganyan. O kaya may mga DJ ka na parang pag pinapakinggan mo, feeling mo, kaya mo rin yun or gusto mo rin yun. Or mascom student ka. Or isa ka sa mga nag-voice over challenge din sa Philippine Airlines ba yun? O sa isang airline sa Pilipinas na uso yan online. I'm sure hilig mo or mahilig ka rito sa mga sa pagiging voice over o pangarap mo ang maging isang voice over talent. Or sa kabilang side naman, gusto mong maging radio practitioner or newscaster or Uh, gusto mo maging part ng isang uh, news and public affairs na show uh, This episode tonight ay para sa inyo mga kababayan I'm sure marami tayong matututunan dito I've been doing radio for almost two decades, less than two decades now Pero marami pa rin tayong kailangan matutunan At yung mga kasama natin tonight ay isa sa mga taong marami talaga akong natutunan Hindi lang sa broadcasting, <laughs> kundi sa buhay, life in general, okay? Ang uh, best thing about this, papakilala ko na ating Featured Pinoy Worldwide. Sa mga bago na sa show natin, we have Featured Pinoy Worldwide kung saan we feature different lives ng ating mga kababayan saan man sa mundo. Iba't ibang kwento, iba't ibang industry. So right about now, we'll be having usapang voiceover. Yan, okay? Usapang voiceover o usapang radio broadcasting or radio newscasting. So joining me tonight ang ating Featured Pinoy Worldwide is uh, one of the most beautiful people I know inside and out. Inside and out, yes. And napaka-professional. Sabi ko, Shirley, uh, 15 minutes before the show tayo, on the dot. Grabe. 5.45 sa Pilipinas, pumasok siya. 7.45. Ang galing! Talagang newscaster, bawal malit. Yan ang buhay radyo. On the dot talaga kami. Okay. So, huwag na natin patagalin para matuto tayo ng buhay o matuto tayo at magkaroon tayo ng idea ng buhay voice-over talent at buhay radio newscaster, uh, let's welcome ang ating featured Pinoy worldwide. She's been on the air since the 90s and uh, has worked in the broadcasting industry for over two decades. Kung ako, less than two decades ito. Over two decades na sa so marami tayong matututunan talaga. I'm talking about the very beautiful uh, voice-over talent newscaster, radio newscaster, Shirley Escalante. Hello, Kiko. PK Kiko. Happy. <laughs> A dear friend and colleague, I have to say. Wow, nice to see you and your beautiful smile and that that lipstick. <laughs> oh, it has to be there. Kasi walang mask ngayon eh. Wala akong ah. na tao. Hindi ako naka-mask. Mahalaga ang ah. ngayon. Alam natin yan, di ba? May pandemya. Pero ngayon, ah. lipstick kasi walang mask. Shirley, thank you for doing this. Welcome to Pinoy and Australia, the podcast. Always welcome. It's always a pleasure to chat with you, Kiko, and all the fellows and the philos. Wow, welcome. Okay, uh, Shirley Escalante, of course, radio newscaster and voiceover talent. Okay, ang ating usapan tonight, again, eh, usapang voiceover tayo, usapang radio newscasting. Again, if you want to be part of the show, Shirley, bago, bago tayo tumuli sa kwentuhan natin, uh, gusto ko lang invite sila na maging part ng show. Uh, pwede po kayong mag-PM or mag-post ng inyong mga gustong sasabihin sa ating live 
video sa Facebook or sa YouTube and ifa-flash po natin sa screen. So like Mark Caballero says, Mark from Can Canberra. Hello sa mga nasa Canberra. Yan po ang capital ng Australia, no? Hindi po Sydney, ano? <laughs> Hindi po Melbourne, okay? Hindi rin po Brisbane, okay? Canberra po tayo. Yan. Hello, Mark. Thank you for joining us tonight. So like Mark, you can do the same thing. Kung meron kayong gustong itanong kay Shirley or kay Papa Kiko, ifa-flash natin sa screen. Shirley, are you willing to answer questions? I'm good with that. All the time. Of course. The man. And uh, like Gina Solarkin as well, avid fans since LS days. Yeah. Ayos. Tugstuga na. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Nagsimula ako. Pinanganak ka na ba? <laughs> tingnan natin, tingnan natin, namaya pag-usapan natin yan. So again, you can do the same thing, katulad ni Mark and Gina, pakipost po yung mga reaction nyo para maging part kayo. Or surely, meron akong number dito kung nasa Australia sila, pwede silang tumawag sa atin para makausap natin ng live. Uh, yeah, 0401-3834, sorry, 0490-011417, sorry, natakpang kita ng konti. 0490-011417 po ang number na idadial nyo kung nasa Australia kayo, para maging part kayo ng show. Alright, kwento na tayo. Simulan natin ang ating chat with our featured Pinoy worldwide for tonight, Miss Shirley Escalante. Hi Shirley, saan ka galing ngayon? Anong, anong, ano mo nang ginawa mo ngayong Saturday, ngayong weekend? Ah, okay, Sabado. Uh, Naka-day off. So, nag-grocery. Ano ba ginawa ko? Nag-laundry. Uh, yung mga bagay na ganyan, di ba? Yung mga, yung mga ginagawa natin pag, uh, hindi na, na hindi natin nagagawa pag tayo ay may trabaho or the day job. So ngayon natin, yung mga pagkakataong gawin yan. Okay. Uh, okay, simulan na natin to Ang sabi ko lang kanina, yan, naka, nakasulat, radio newscaster and voice over talent. Pero ano pa yung mga ginagawa mo ngayon? Ano talaga yung mga trabaho mo ngayon? Kasi napaka-broad yung good. Saan? If you don't mind saying, pero kung hindi, okay lang. Pero ano yung mga trabaho mo pa ngayon? Ano yung mga ginagawa mo? Okay, so my day job, or what I, what I do is I am a radio news writer, newscaster. Uh, so I've done that for, as you said, more than two deca decades now. Uh, I'm with a network in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and I also do voiceover. So tama ka naman. If you're interested in voice voiceover, vo uh, voiceover announcings, uh, that's mm -hmm. one of the things that I also do. Kasi ano naman yun eh, ang, yun ang masaya eh sa isang, sa broadcast, no? Okay. Ang broadcast kasi, di ba, maraming sakop yun eh. May TV, mm. may print, ngayon may social media. Online, so, okay. Kung saan ka mas interesado at kung saan mas inclined ang iyong mga gifts or interests, mm. no? Mm. Yung mga kailan mo, dun ka papasok. Eh, ako, I've always loved speaking, even when I was uh, when I was young, and I loved language, which was uh, well, which is English and Tagalog. So, medyo na bigyan ako ng pagkakataon na ma-practice yan, ma-hone, kahit nung bata pa ako, hanggang sa nag-aral, tapos yun din ang interest ko. Mm -hmm. Yun ang, doon tayo tumuloy, at doon na tayo okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ano yung ano ano yung parang point or turning point na sinabi mo sa sarili mo na ah ito na yung career na gusto ko. And like sabi mo kanina given na sa gusto mo talaga to since the start sa salita ka. Uh, pero kaya mo sinabi na ah ito na yung career na gagawin ko. Nung nakapasok na ako sa broadcast, doon ko nakita pa lang doon pa lang din. Oo. Actually my first job after school after college mm. was in a an fm radio station in metro manila so that's where i was but then when i was doing that medyo nalilitan ako sa sweldo and my parents they were encouraging me to try other fields like mm. maybe marketing kasi mas maraming baka mas maraming kita doon Marketing o kaya uh, yung bang AE, account executive, account uh -huh. manager. So nagtry ako. Iniwang ko yung broadcast and then I moved on to marketing, selling, sales. Selling mm -hmm. different, selling a magazine. Uh, mm -hmm. 
magazine for advertisers. Nung nandun ako, doon ko na-realize, love ko pala talaga ang broadcast. Pag nasa jeep ako, pupunta sa isang client, maririnig ko yung naka-FM, tapos maririnig ko yung broadcaster. Sabi ko, di ba dapat nandun ako? Tapos there was, point, there was a point, I, tumawag ako sa daddy ko, umiyak ako. I was mm-hmm. in marketing then. Sabi ko, dad, ayoko na dito. Balik na ako sa broadcast. O, sige. Doon niya siguro, kahit siya mismo, na nakita niya na yun ang interest at yun ang inclination ng kanyang anak. One of the things that I realized, if I may add, no, on hindsight mm-hmm. now, it's always important to pursue whatever gifts you have and whatever interests you have. Dalawang keys o susi para sa akin sa buhay. Ano ba yung binigay sa'yo? Ikalawa. O, isa pa. Ano ba interest mo? Kasi pag yun ang sinundan mo, doon ka mag excel Kasi love mo siya. Eh. Di ba sinasabi nga natin? Agree, agree. Pag- yeah, bagay, tama. Ha, pag ang isang bagay, uh, kahit trabaho, pero mahal mo, hindi na yan trabaho. It's, that's a mm-hmm. uh, mindset. It does not become a job. It becomes something that you like doing. So there's, uh-huh. there's the lesser mindset of this being a job to me. And then, hindi masyadong mabigat. And then, mm. there is a bigger chance for you to excel. I believe mm. that. I've seen that. So, there you go. Okay. Agree, agree. So, yeah. so uh, nag-iba muna yung career na kinuha mo and then, sabi mo, ito na yung gagawin mo. Pero, balik tayo ng konti. Anong, anong course mo ng college para may mga idea yung mga gustong mag-course ng uh, newscasting? Broadcast communication talaga. <laughs> <laughs> talaga. Oh, communication arts talaga. Hindi ako lumayo. <laughs> ako din eh. Ako din. Oh. Communication arts din talaga. Kaso lang ko talaga. What school, if you don't mind? UP. I went to the University of the Philippines. In Diliman, yes. Diliman. Okay, okay. Alright, so, wow. Kasi Diliman yun. UP Diliman. Iba yung... Yeah, iba yung school. Iba talaga yung... Quality eh, di ba? Alam mo yun, maraming na-produce na mga magagaling na mga na mga professionals ngayon when it comes to the industry, ang UP. So, kumusta yung mass communication ng UP? Masarap itanong ito, mismo sa isang galing doon eh. I would like to say it's very much the same as the curriculum or the structure of instruction being given by other universities. Mm-hmm. Ito naman ay isang bagay na natutunan ko, na-realize ko. Mm-hmm. Kasi siyempre, eto na, doon na tayo pag sinabing, mm-hmm. UP, wow! Galing! Okay. Biglang meron ng, meron ng mindset eh. Uh-huh. Ay, muna, magaling to, bigatin to. Uh-huh. But over time, when I entered mm-hmm. the industry, iba yung preparation mo, educational, academic preparation mo. <laughs> Nakaka-relate ako dyan. Yeah. Alam mo, Miss Shirley, isingit ko lang, ano? Isingit oh. ko lang. So, pag may invite ako sa, nag may invite din ako mag-talk sa mga MASCOM students, gustong-gusto ko nang sabihin na, huy, iba yung Turing yan kesa sa real world. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gusto. Pero um, siyempre, siyempre malaking tulong yon. Hindi natin pwedeng i-discount yon, of course. I agree, yeah. of course. Yeah. Oo. Uh, I would like to say, again, on hindsight, no? marami nang natutunan ng lola nyo. <laughs> what you learn in school is mainly mm. discipline. Discipline. Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the discipline to do things, to finish what you start. Mm-hmm. It's finishing what you start. It's always, I think it's always good to finish what you start. Mm-hmm. So it's mainly discipline. If you're able to do this, to finish this, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. to uh, to present yourself at the right time, on time, um, mm-hmm. on the day that you're that is expected of you, mm-hmm. those are good points. Eh. Pag wala yun sa'yo, it doesn't help. So the discipline is there. Mm-hmm. Then you have that discipline, and then you <laughs> enter whatever industry you like. Mm-hmm. 
a totally it can be a totally different ball game ball game ibig sabihin iba na yung matututunan mo teka muna sandali sandali lang parang iba yung formula na natutunan ko nung college tapos uh-huh. eto medyo natitweak o nagbabago mm-hmm. mm-hmm. when you come back to when you when you uh, reflect on what you've learned okay. ako ano na isip ko Kiko mm-hmm. and Philos and Philos it's mainly the discipline in school mm-hmm. what's mm-hmm. ingrained and then when you move on to whatever you want to do or you need to do in life mm-hmm. bringing the discipline and then learning new things as you go along in mm-hmm. your job or in whatever ano ba in in, in the, your career profession advocacy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, agree. So, kung, kung if I pick it up right, you're, you were saying na uh, hindi lahat na sa school na pinasukan mo. It's more on the discipline na nadala mo from that school, whatever school is that. Mm-hmm. Tapos kung paano mo siya dadalhin sa true ball game na masasya ka na iba pala talaga. So that's a good that's a good take kasi yun nga sabi nung iba kasi nung nagmascom din ako ah uh, medyo may inferiority kami dahil kami ay from the province ano mm-hmm. so laging ah uh, hindi ka hindi, hindi kilala yung school namin and then paano kami makakapasok sa mga biggest networks eh ilan lang naman yan di ba so yung competition if I may, matangas if i may mm-hmm. um that's I believe that's a mindset that needs to be changed. Agree, agree, agree. Sobra, sobrang tama yan. Totoo. Yeah. Oh. In fact, now that I've been exposed to diff- well, to my colleagues in the industry, people mm. who came from different um, walks of life, mm. from different schools, dun ko na realize ang gagaling nila. Mm. Agree. Oh, so, tama doesn't make me any different or any better than them no mm. Mm. Yeah. uh yeah so uh mascom nagtrabaho muna ng iba dahil trinay na yumaman <laughs> try Tr- mo muna sa mistema si miss shirley escalante and then sa so, jeep inahabol siya inahabol siya ng yung passion okay uh-huh. So, yan na punta na. So, pero ang question ko sa iyo is, uh, bago tayo pumunta sa mga tips at mga gusto nating malaman, sa radio, uh, yun muna tayo sa discography ni Miss Shirley. Gusto ko malaman, bakit, bakit radio? Sabi mo kanina, maraming, maraming, maraming yeah, branches ang media, right? We have print and all that. Pero kasi pag tinitingnan kita, Miss Shirley, alam ng lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon, pwede kang anchor, pwede kang CNN Philippines anchor. Your look pa lang, your looks pa lang. Okay. Pwedeng pwede, pero bakit nag-radio ka lang? I mean, hindi sorry sa lang ng word, pero bakit? Yung iba kasi ginagawang stepping stone yan. Or, if I understood it right, katulad ko rin, pag nag ka, ang ultimate dream mo talaga lagi is on cam uh, newscaster or celebrity, or, yeah, anchor. Pero bakit ikaw nag-stay ka sa radio? Okay. Uh, argument accepted. Totoo naman. Pag bata ka pa, <laughs> nagsisimula ka, syempre gusto mo. Nakikita ka rin. Ah. Uh, I would like to say, in my case, uh, kasi love ko talaga ang speaking. And oh, I realized, Uh, radio gave me that avenue to continue to develop myself in terms of in in, in terms of speaking of course you can always develop yourself uh, in uh, if you if you're on tv pero there's the odd the the video aspect mm. uh, <laughs> i did try, but there was that was a closed door yeah i did try But that was a closed door, and then I just enjoyed myself. Can I just say, I just enjoyed myself. All right. More than two decades. I just enjoyed mm-hmm. myself. And mm-hmm. went on and on and on and on. <laughs> uh, I, just, right. I just pursued the open doors and Agreed. enjoyed it. Can yeah, we yeah. agree on that? No? You, can, you, you can always use that as a, as a motto if you want. Just enjoy... Uh-huh. Follow the doors and enjoy it. 
Yeah, oo naman. Kasi I, hindi, hindi ko na pwedeng i-compete pa yung sinabi mo ngayon dahil look at you, nakaramdaman ko yung joy na meron ka ngayon with regards to your job na pinili uh, for over over two decades. So, yeah, wala na akong question about it. Pero pagdating sa radio, uh, marami ding uh, branches. Yan. Inside the spectrum. Merong FM, AM, newscasting, Pero bakit ka napunta sa newscasting? Kasi you can be a radio DJ, personality. Yo, pero bakit napunta sa newscasting naman? Dahil nga siguro yun yung forte mo, yun yung... Yun na yung love ko. Yun na yung love ko. Yun hmm. love ko and just uh, maybe, uh, ano ba, just a tip or something I learned when I was younger from hmm. a senior news, from someone, from a newscaster who was senior to me, sabi niya, in broadcasting and radio, you can grow old when you're doing the news. You can keep doing the news continually and grow old in it. There's no problem. There's lesser challenge. But if you're on FM, yep. yes, sure, you can grow old. It's, I, that's why I say for DJ, female DJs or DJs who are allowed to grow old on FM, I think it's a privilege. Sometimes hindi nila gets eh. But I uh, think it's a privilege kasi <laughs> you're allowed. Matanda ka na. Ginagawa mo dyan. Patensya ka pa rin. Nagpapabata ka pa rin. No, no. Oh, no. If you're, if you're like the, the Delamar, the... Sumabay. <laughs> Kahit na, yeah, they're, sure, I mean, I I give my kudos to my colleagues who are still there on FM. Colleagues or people my age who are still there on FM. Diba? What are you doing there? So it's a privilege to stay there because I think it's a bigger challenge. Mm-hmm. When, you're, when you're growing old, nagbaba, nagbaba, nagbabagong interest mo, nagbabagong energy mo, ang enthusiasm mo. Plus, Iba, nagpapago ang trend. Nag-trend ng FM. Nagpapago ang trend. True. The, and the trend. So you always need to learn it. Learn it. Learn it. Learn it. Yeah. So, and the way you handle yourself, the mm. way you sound, the way you look. <laughs> lalo na ngayon. Lalo na ngayon yung part na lagi ang visual. Miss Shirley, oh, alam mo yan. Hindi <laughs> ma- madali yan. But, uh, you're in the news, all you need to do is stay, to, stay with the facts. Because mm. news is a structure. As long as you're able to uh, deliver that structure, uh-huh. regardless of how you look maybe, mm-hmm. you're able to deliver. And you can grow old. There are lesser challenges. News is always a challenge. But in terms of age, mm. that's yeah. All right. Parang ang the more you age, parang mas uh, nagiging factful ang dating ng ano, news. Di ba? Parang ganun eh. Parang ganun. Di ba? Mas reliable ka na ngayon dahil uh, you've been but there. You're, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, puntahan natin yung newscasting this time. Okay. Uh, paano ba mag-newscast? Uh, I, I know medyo matagal na tagal itong pag-aaral. Nag-maskom nga tayo. No? Pero in a simple simple words, like formula na mayroon pa na masasabi mo sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Ano ba yung newscasting for you? Paano siya? Well, let's just remember that news is always the facts. Mm. If you are the facts, you cannot stray away from it. Hindi mo pwedeng baguhin mm. yan. Hindi mo pwedeng, mm. pwedeng magkamali. There oh. is zero, There, I think there should be zero percentage of mistakes, especially mm. in the news. DJ ka, magkamali ka, gawin mo mo <laughs> joke. Lusot ka na. Pero news pastor, nagkamali ka, gagawin mo joke? Hindi ka uh, na panginan. You know what I mean? Yeah, agree, so, agree, agree. So, so, news is, news I should say in one uh-huh. word are facts. These are the yeah. truth. You don't, yeah. and you don't stray away from it. As long mm. as you're able to deliver the news, the facts, Mm. Accurate, and you don't stray away from it, then that's mm. the way to deliver the news. Mm. Okay. How about your 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 newscasting style? Was okay. it something you learned 
or patterned from the the old ones na naririnig natin or or was it something na oh your own style dinagdagan mo pa paano yung style ni Shirley Escalante when continuous casting ah, okay i've always learned sorry about that nasa bahay ako and you have dogs <laughs> okay so um I've always learned different uh, um, newscasting styles over mm. the years. Ganun lang. When I was younger, the way to do the news is to go English. English yeah. kanon. Oh, yeah. Agad. Okay. okay. Meaning, you that's your recall. So, totoo naman, uh, during the 90s, 80s and 90s, it was mainly English newscasting on FM. And even on TV. Yes. Um, um, and then, over time, nagbago yan. Sorry ah, mm-hmm. di ko na mapipigil yung aso. Newscaster din. <laughs> <laughs> over time, over mm-hmm. time, bago. Nagtagalog na sa Philippine news industry. Nagtagalog sa FM, na news, nagtaga. Of course, yung AM has always been tag- uh, Tagalog. AM news has always been Tagalog. And then, nagtagalog na rin sa uh, TV news. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, ano ba? Nadi-distract ako. <laughs> so, yun, uh, sabi mo, different styles. Yun na yun. Uh, uh, so, first language, it's always important to uh, be able to express yourself well in the languages. So, kung uh, ang, newscast, ang newscast mo is in Tagalog, dapat nakaka, nakakabigkas ka ng maayos. At saka, kung Tagalog ang iyong medium, mm. that's what I've learned from... Huwag kang mag, ano? Sorry, hindi ko nakuha yun. Huwag kang mag. Gawing slang. Ah, okay. Mo. Ibig okay. sabihin, uh, ano ba? Uh, it's a beautiful day today. Yeah, okay. Or it's a beautiful day today. Okay. For the difference, huwag mo masyadong gawing slang. Mm. Tagalog. Tagalog pala. Kailangan Tagalog. Ah, okay. Mag-Tagalog tayo. Uh, uh, eksklusibo. Maaaring kumonsulta sa isang health professional o sa ugat ng kalusugan para sa family planning method na tugma sa inyo. Huwag mo namang gawing slang. Parang <laughs> maaring, maaring. Kasi ganito, maaring. Doon na lang tayo sa salitang maaring. Maaring mm. is a Tagalog word. Mm. So you say it in the proper Tagalog. Mm. Wag mong gawing maaring. Tigasan mo yung arm mo. Maaring. Okay. Maaring kumonsulta. That's what I mean. So mm. if you borrow a language, mm. well, or sorry, Excuse me for the word, for, for lack of a better word. Pero if you use a language, you respect it. Mm-hmm. So kung paano ang tamang bigkas mm-hmm. doon sa language na yun, huwag uh-huh. mo nang ganun. Huwag mong baguhin na parang sounding English pero Tagalog mm-hmm. word. That's mm-hmm. what I mean. So those little nuances then. So mm-hmm. start podcasting. We started off in English, and then eventually, the news industry in the Philippines mm-hmm. used Tagalog as a medium. Mm-hmm. So we all had to learn Tagalog, and mm-hmm. that's that's what I mean about nung nag Tagalog, coming from English, yung mga nag migrate na mga news persons from English to Tagalog, kailangan na matuto ka sa tamang pagbigkas ng Tagalog na hindi mo mm-hmm. iipisin. Tama, uh, tama. Englishin. Hindi, i-Englishin. <laughs> I-Englishin. Uh, tama yan. Kumbaga, aside from speaking their language, eh, yung the way, the way they say it then. Napaka-important. Uh, that's my principle. Tama, agree. Kasi para meron ka rin connection sa kanila eh. Alam mo yun, na instant makukuha mo yung attention nila na, ah, ito pa rin nangyayari ngayon. Naintindihan ko siya. Aside dun sa, kasi pag nilagyan, pag nilagyan mo ng style, mafo-focus sa style more than the content. Oh, wala naman yung uh, juice nung... We're not talking news, ha? We're not talking hmm. Jane. Because you yeah. have more freedom as a drop. You can do it. You can get yeah. away with it. Mm. Diba? Yeah. Diba? You can, tama, tama. You can use a Tagalog word and sound 
very slang. Okay lang, tanggap ka. Kasi ikaw yung uh, personality ka eh. Hindi yan yung yeah. news na facts. And you're entertaining in the first place. Right, to begin with, you're entertaining. So why not kumapit na entertaining slang? Di ba? Okay. Uh, meron ka naalala na, ano? When you were starting, um, mostly when you, when you were starting na, eh, na parang gusto mong mawala doon sa kinauupuan mo. Maram, <laughs> yeah. Maram, gaya ng pag bago ako mag-broadcast, eh, nagugutom ako. So, kumain ako. Cheapy? Cheapy pa nun eh. Pero may cheapy pa nun. Mahilig ka dyan. Mahilig ka dyan. Ha? Mahilig ka dyan. Kasi minsan, nagbo-broadcast tayo, mag-news ka ng 30 yet, may pagkain talaga. Oo. Oo. So, ayan. Eh, nagugutom ako eh. So, I ate some chippy and then had to do broadcast to God. Ito naman ako confident. Aba, mamaya, yung chippy, di ba hindi, hindi joke ang chippy kasi ano yan eh? Ano yan? Chips. Di ba? Pag oh, chips uh, make different. Parang flaky yan eh. Pag, ano, uh, ba, parang, mm. Chips have uh, ano ba, different meanings for different cultures yata. Eh, di ba? Uh, anyway, so, yung crackers, ano ba ang tawag doon? Uh, okay. So, aba, nasa lalamunan ko na in the middle of a broadcast. So I had to make, I had to give some signs to the DJ to please, eh, yung mic, yung control ng mic na sa DJ. DJ. <laughs> FM, yeah. uh, uh, FM jock. So, uh, you know, there was dead air and I could not speak kasi iba talaga, subukan mo, kumain ka ng chipit, magsalita ka bigla. Tapos siguro doon yung makit sa lalamunan mo yan. Tingnan ko lang kung makapagsalita ka. So, yun na yan. <laughs> And so that was really hard. So there was some dead air at that time because there was some chippy on on my throat. But then eventually it's been resolved. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, tsaka naalala ko dati, meron tayo mga instances din na hindi pa, na, hindi, hindi, uh, hindi pa lang na on ng microphone ng DJ tapos nag-newscast ka na. And uh-huh. then nakita ko yung frustration sa mukha mo na ang ganda na ng pagkakadeliver mo. And then wala pa lang audio. <laughs> Alam mo yon talaga. Ikaw yon, Tiko. Alam mo yon. I worked with Kiko for some time, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. There are times. There are times. Just one more. Um. Uh. Nagmamadali ka, so humahangus ka, hinihingal ka, kasi uh-huh. yun. You can never be late for a newscast. Eh. The news is all radio is always on the dot. So if it's uh, the top of the hour, if your news is on the top of the hour, you have to be there and you have to be reading the news on the top of the hour. Mm. So, nagmamadali, medyo late. Ayan, nung, nung naging newscast, hinihingal. So, obvious na obvious. So, nakakahiya, di ba? Pero, yun. Those are some of the... Uh, ano ba? The funny moments. Pero ano, Miss Shirley, uh, ano yung, sorry, wala kang better term eh. Preparation na lang or ritual or kung meron ka mga alam mo yun. Do you like, do you like uh, stretching your jaw o yun nga, hindi ka na kumakain ng chippy, umiinom ka ng tubig or do you read your news? Para lang sa mga tao kasi kilala kita, alam ko yung style mo, binabasa mo talaga siya pero sa yung manggaling, ano yung, ano yung preparation mo a minute or two minutes before uh, newscasting? Well, number one, uh, you always have to read the news ahead. Mm-hmm. As a newscaster, kailangan naiintindihan mo yung binabasa mo. Mm-hmm. At least, practice mo na. Para ready ka. Hindi yung doon mo palang babasahin mm-hmm. o nung nas- when you, you're, you were already doing the news on air. Uh-huh. That's the professional way. But, kasi the, it would be prone to more mistakes. Like, mm-hmm. baka may salita doon na hindi mo alam ang tamang pronunciation. Or it could be a proper noun, it could be a name, which yeah. you cannot properly yeah. pronounce. Yeah. Uh, kunyari, uh, Tchaikovsky, medyo, hindi natin lingwahe yun. E eh, medyo nabulul-bulul ka, so uulitin mo yun. Pag nabasa mo yun, ready ka. Mm-hmm. At pwede research, okay, ano ba yung tamang pronunciation ng Tchaikovsky? At least, you're able to do justice to the proper noun. Hindi mo binabasa yung, hi, apelido ko yan. Anong ginawa mo sa apelido ko? Di ba? 
Yeah. At saka yung mga designation ng mga taong involved. Right. Oh, like, hey, sin- tinawag mo lang na, tinawag mo lang na father, eh ano pala siya, like, bishop. So yeah. parang, na, na ano yeah. siya, di ba? Oh. Oh, or yung mga uh, general, eh ginawa mong police officer one. Di ba? In the National Police Ranking, di ba medyo nakakahiya? Oh. Hindi mo, no. ikaw Emo. mismo, mag-ingat ka, you always have to be accurate kasi like, if I may, no, uh, doon naman tayo sa accuracy. Uh, uh-huh. Of course, the news, the news is always the fact. It's always the truth and you never stray away from it. So hmm. if a person is, let's say, you have to be accurate, always uh-huh. accurate. Tama. Uh, before going on air, you have to be sure of your facts. You have to check and double check. It's mm. better to err in the side ah. of caution. Ibig sabihin, wag mo na lang agad i-ere kung hindi ka sigurado sa mga facts mo. Check mo mm. muna kahit medyo madelay na lang ng konti kesa mm. para lang sabihin mong, ay, nauna ako dito. Ako nag- Kasi ah. sa'yo, unahan mag-break eh. Break ah. News, diba? Flash report. Naku, uh-huh. tayo na una ka, unahan kayo. Uh-huh. Pero pag ganun, meron, usually nakocompromise ang accuracy pag nagmamadali ka. It's in any situation, uh-huh. diba? So, you always have to check your facts. Uh, let's say, in an accident. Uh-huh. Mang namatay, hindi pa pala patay yung dalawa. Pinatay mo na. Ano gagawin mo? <laughs> Nakakahiyo, di ba? Pinatay tama. mo. Tama, tama. And syempre, uh, yung pressure din na uh, you're, uh, you're representing a network more than uh, not only yourself. Yun din yun, isa pa rin yun. Hindi lang naman ikaw ang nakasalalay doon. Yes. Di ba? Kaya kailangan i-fact check mo talaga siya. Okay. okay. Alright, surely, popost mo na tayo dyan. I-acknowledge ko lang yung mga taong kasama natin sa moment na to. And then, post tayo ng isang mabilis na commercial break kasi mamaya pagbalik natin, yung voice-over talent naman yung pupuntahan natin mamaya. Pero bibigyan mo muna kami ng sample-sample. May nag-PPM sa akin dito. Uh, sample daw ng balita sa barangay. Mamaya po yan. Tatanong natin si Miss Shirley kung okay siya dyan. Hello to Claire. Claire Vicente. My wife, Ayan, is watching. Okay. Erickson, Erickson Carson from uh, Northern Territory. Andrew Vera, si Andrew to boyfriend to ni Pambansang Insan. Ayan, nanonood sa atin ngayon si Christine. Si Crazy Borromeo, which uh, I believe will join me sa, sa Saturday para sa Independence Day uh, episode natin. Crazy Borromeo, ma'am, thank you for watching. Uh, si Riza, ating uh, fellow. Uh, Mark Caballero from Canberra, thank you. Ang aking pamangkin na si Rafael Jan Carandang is also joining us tonight. Um, may mga future yatang broadcaster to kaya nanonood wow. so maraming salamat okay Miss Shirley pagbalik natin uh, usapang voice over pa tayo uh, voice over naman tayo at syempre share mo pa kami ng mga insights mo about your experience and mga tips and advice natin sa mga future nating mga broadcasters so, pagbalik po yan ng Pinoy in Australia the podcast with DJ Paparico we're having a great time with Oh, Shirley Escalante, voiceover talent and uh, news, radio newscaster. Babalik po ang Pinoy in Australia, the podcast, Usapang Pinoy. Enjoy. Hi there, fellows. This is DJ Papakiko, the host of Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Papakiko. Usapang Pinoy and Joy Pinoy. And I will be one of the roving hosts together with Dwayne, Camille, Jimwell, and Joy, and the rest of the beautiful people of Fabs for Philo's Mini Festival. And we go online. 
ibibigay namin sa inyo ang mga latest happenings sa mga iba't ibang Pinoy businesses around Southeast Queensland on June 12, Saturday as we celebrate Philippine Independence Day here in Queensland, Australia. Live on Facebook. So ito mga kababayan. For more information, visit FABS or Filipino Australian Brisbane Society Incorporated on Facebook at FAB Society AU or Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Paparico on Instagram or Facebook. Maligayang araw ng kalayaan, mga kababayan! Kababayan, we know you miss the Philippines. Dito sa Lami Ay Kaayo, feeling at home tayo. Visit Lami Ay Kaayo Filipino Restaurant, Gold Coast Highway, Mermaid Beach. Visit facebook.com slash Lami Ay Kaayo. Lami Ay Kaayo, the taste of the Filipino cuisine. Enjoy the selection of Filipino bread favorites and more at My Portion Bakery, number 322 Yanjibap Road, Yanjibap WA. Follow them on Instagram at My Portion underscore Bakery. Like them on Facebook at My Portion Bakery. Sarap ng Tinapay Pinoy at My Portion Bakery. Bread made with passion. Avita Tower Sukat, your kind of home. Your kind of perfect. Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Papa Kiche Papa Wednesdays from Wednesday, Saturday, Saturday, 9 p.m. and SWM Live on Facebook, live on YouTube at Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. Ang ganda ng boses ng voice over dun sa plug kong yun. Ha? Hindi ko alam kung sino yun. Ha? <laughs> Di ninay pa kung sino eh. Nagkunwari yan pa. Na parang obvious naman kung sino. Hindi ko alam. Anyway, maraming salamat sa Presence Filipino Church. Uh, sama-sama natin purihin ang ating Diyos. It's a Gold Coast Australia. Tawagan po ang 0401-383-444. Look for Pastora Diane David. Kung meron kayong prayer request yung mga nasa Australia or meron kayong question paano magiging uh, makabisita. Every third Saturday of the month po, meron pong service ang Filipino or Presence Filipino Church. Puntahan niyo lang sa Facebook for more information. Presence Filipino Church. And also, thank you to Ayala Land International Sales Incorporated, Avida Tower, Sukat. Call 995-458-9511. Naghanap ka ng investment sa Pilipinas, Avida Tower, Sukat. Check niyo yan, mga fellows. Salamat sa Lami Ay Kaayo, Filipino Restaurant. If you're having your holidays here sa Gold Coast, don't miss to visit Lami Ay Kaayo Filipino Restaurant, Mermaid Beach, Gold Coast Highway, Queensland. Puntahan yung Instagram nila and Facebook for more information and for reservation. My Portion Bakery sa Yanjibap Road. Salamat. Show my king online franchising business. Thank you. Care of uh, Mamitas Online Cusina. Maraming salamat po. JJ of Perfume by Jake. Ito pala sa katabi ko ngayon. Ayan. Yeah, maraming salamat. So kahit nasa Perth siya, nakarating po ng Queensland yung kanyang perfume. So kahit saan sa uh, Australia, pwede pong i-deliver sa comfort ng inyong mga bahay ang, uh, ang perfume by Jake. So visit uh, his uh, IG page. Uh, yung IG page ni JJ or ng perfume by Jake. Just, just search perfume by Jake. Alright. And uh, yeah, bago tayo bumalik kay Miss Shirley Escalante, next Wednesday, si Architect Jay Portem ang makakasama natin. Siya ang ating featured Pinoy worldwide. Pag-uusapan po natin yung mga pamana ng ating lahi. Dahil last May ang uh, National Heritage Month. Okay? So pag-uusapan natin yung mga pamana ng ating lahi with uh, ang nagko-conserve ng uh, ating pamana. Isa sa mga uh, sumusuporta rito, architect Jason Portem, uh, makakasama natin next Wednesday and next Friday naman, usapang bata naman tayo, mga young achievers tayo with Anselmo Miguel Catalia, writer to, speaking of uh, journalism and broadcasting, ito, mga future to, si, si Anselmo Catalia from the Philippines as well will be joining us, champion writer to sa kanyang publication. Uh, school publication. Okay, balik tayo sa usapang buhay, voice, talent, at newscaster. We're having a great night. 
at learnings with the one and the only Shirley Escalante. Oh, yep. Ms. Shirley, salamat pala for doing the voice dun sa Pinoy in Australia. Of course. Siya po yun. Siya po yun. Sobrang proud po ako dun. Oh, sobrang proud na proud ako dun. Oh, sobrang proud na proud ako dun sa voiceover na yan dahil alam ko, I got the best one. Alam mo yun? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Bago tayo pum- pumunta sa voiceover, ano yung magbibigay mong advice sa mga gustong maging radio newscaster? Mga gustong pasukin ang industriya natin. Nagbago na ang trend, Miss Shirley. Sabi mo nga English, we started ng napaka, parang napaka-academic, oh, for lack of better term. And then ngayon, medyo, yeah, nasa masa tayo ngayon, nag-iiba ang trend. Ano yung may advice mo sa mga future practitioner? I say, well, hmm. as I've said earlier, you can't change the news. The news is just, it, uh, are the facts. These are the facts. So as long as you're able to stay there and respect the facts, okay ka. Hmm. If you know how to handle facts, the discipline of checking, double checking, the discipline of accuracy, mm-hmm. uh, um, Kasi you learn as you go along. Pero mm. yun lang basically eh. It's, the news is just the facts and the truth. Huwag mong kukulayan. Huwag mong mm. dagdagan. Huwag mong babawasan. Kung ano yun, yun lang. At yun mm. lang bigay mo. Kaya nga, the news should always be credible. Diba? Or- the news should always be authoritative. Kasi you can never be credible or authoritative pag dinagdagan mo yan. Hindi na totoo yan eh. Mm. Yun lang yun. If you're able to uh, keep to those um, uh, rules, let's call it rules, then mm. you're gonna be okay. At syempre, ang passion, kailangan laging nandyan. Dahil, yeah. alam niya, yeah, oo. Oh, dahil, hindi, hindi, Hindi mayaman ang mga tao sa broadcasting. Pwede nating sabihin yan. Tayin na lang mga ka-attest dyan, no? Pero, kapasok uh, yung voice-over na racket ni Miss Shirley para di sa usapang yaman. Biro <laughs> lang, biro lang. Pero, yep, yeah, yeah, tama yung sinabi. Authoritative, factful, factual, okay? Tama yun. Kala ko, kala ko matatapos yung linya mong yun sa walang kinikilingan, walang pinoprotektan. <laughs> And be fair, diba? Be fair. That's also one of the very um, important principles of news writing and newscasting. You, do, you just don't present one side. You present both sides. Kasi mm-hmm. one side lang sine, ang, ang iprinisinta mo o diniliver mo, hindi pa yan ang buong storya. Mm-hmm. Buoy mo yung storya. So, ano yung other side? That way, you're able to be really factual and fair because both sides are heard. All right. In your case, Miss Shirley, yeah, you're working sa isang network. So, yung, yung, yung avenues mo para ma-check ang fact, marami. Pero ikaw personally, paano mo chine-check na ito ay totoo, ito ang tama, ito ang kailangan marinig? You go to the authorities. You go to the officials. You always look for the authority. Sino ba ang authority dito? Kung sinabi niya at authority siya sa bagay na yon, o sa subject na yon, o sa topic na yon, sa incident na yon, yun na yon. Ngayon, kung mali siya, hindi ikaw nagkamali. Siya. Always quote. Sabi mo kung kanino mo, sino nagsabi nun? Hindi si Shirley nagsabi nun. Binasa lang ni Shirley yun, pero... Pagay mo yung source mo. Sino ba siya? Mm. Ay, no. Accident? Mm. Kung accident, ano ba yan? Pulis. Pwede yung uh-huh. parang. Sa kanina Kung bagyo, yun. syempre bagyo? hindi ka pupunta sa, <laughs> sa ano pulis. Na, ano naman galing? Ano naman ang sasabihin sa'yo ng pulis? Diba? <laughs> ba? Ba, signal ka. number three yan eh, ayon sa investigasyon. Um, mukha, oh, based on our, mukhang signal number three. Hindi, doon ka sa dalubhasa. Sino ba nag sa dalubhasa sa, sa bagyo, sa, sa lagay ng panahon? Doon ka. 
Tama, tama. Okay. Sige, dun sa lighter side tayo. Okay. Hindi ko alam kung lighter side, pero syempre, yun yung tingin ko, voice over talent ka. Okay. Kailan pumasok? Ano yung nauna? Nung nag-newscast ka na, saka pumasok yung VO? Or college ka palang, rakitera ka na ng VO? Kasi you have the voice na, sabi mo nga, you had it since day one. Okay. Sa, ano yung unang pumasok dun? Uh, I've always loved newscasting. Okay. Nung, nung estudyante ako, magbabasa lang ako. Uy, paano ko kaya babasahin ito? So, doon pa lang, may interest na, tapos medyo na practice, practice na. Okay. Then eventually, nung pumasok ako sa industriya, uh, narinig ng mga boss, Uy, pwede ka. Subo ka nga, voice over. Oh, Siyempre, game ako dyan. Aba, eh, natuto na tayo. Practice na. Okay, dire-direct na. So, salamat sa yeah. uh, Panginoon for the open doors. Amen. And eh, may sabi ko lang naman, disiplina lang. If you have the mm. discipline no, to pursue whatever door is open to you, sinabi ka earlier, oh, follow yeah. the doors. Follow the open doors and mm. keep going. Just enjoy. Mm. Okay, so uh, naalala mo pa yung first ever voiceover mo? Like, commercially, commercial-wise, like, yung wow. naririnig? Wow. Wow Or... naman. <laughs> What do you mean? Okay, ano yan? Hindi uh, ko na maalala eh. What do you mean? The, the, the most the, the memorable ones lang, if you have. Uh, well, nung college pa lang ako, nag-voicing na ako for... Uh, Christian broadcast company. Yun lang naman. Yung mga tags niya. Yun. Uh, eh, Doon nasim- nagsimula yung, ano, yung um, exposure. Uh, uh-huh. Then, um, and then, I was just interested. So, I contacted voice agents. Mm. And, siyempre, Those are ways to get yourself inside the industry. And those are legitimate, legitimate ways of getting inside the industry. So, because mm. uh, if you, through the voiceovers, uh, sorry, through the voice agents, there are possible projects. Client, right? yep. Clients. So, the only way to get the clients, if you're a newbie, you're just mm. starting, is to hook up to an agent. And then eventually, as you go along, you learn the ropes and you get better, then you can stand on your own and you can go independent. Marunong ka na eh. Diba? That's one of the ways to go. Get yung, ano, marunong ka na eh. Parang kang nagsabi ng isang tagline, marunong ka na eh. Parang sakay na. <laughs> Oo, sakay na. Enjoy. Just enjoy. Okay. Uh, I don't know kung pwedeng sabihin, pero ano yung mga na, voice mo na ng mga products or mga endorsement? I mean, companies? Yes, marami na. Uh, big... Uh, like yung mga ano? National uh, uh, companies which have been endorsing and uh, which have been producing various yeah. brands, products. Yung mga yes. presentation, company presentation, naging voice ka na ng mga ganyan mostly. Ano? Oh, meron ding live VO uh, uh, in a in an event nagawa rin natin uh, iba-iba na at saka, ang most notable sa'yo alam namin of course dahil katrabaho ko namin pero yung naging boses ka ng isang network yes yes uh, so ano, anong feeling mo ng gano'n na natutulog ka na yung pamangkin mo mag-open ng TV sabila uh, mo rin yung uh, sarili mo na uy uh, ako <laughs> Oh, naman. Over time, of course, you're happy. You're always thankful. That's uh-huh. something I want to check myself on kahit uh-huh. over the years. Kasi, di ba, if, if, if you have something for a long time, may tendency to pwedeng maging parang part of the ordinary na lang and it doesn't mm-hmm. become, as, it, it's, it does not seem as special as it was the first time. Parang uh-huh. boyfriend yan, di ba? <laughs> di ba? Parang asawa lang yan, di ba? Siyempre, sisimula, wow! Mamaya medyo, mm. So okay. you always, it can be anything. The job, it can be a job, it can be a relationship. So you always check yourself on that. Ako, yun. So, so yun, yun, matutulog ka na lang, naririnig mo pa yung voiceover mo. O naman, di ba? <laughs> Salamat ano po. Yung, ano, ano yung, uh, may kanya-kanya forte, di ba? Eh, okay. Pero siyempre, flexible yung boses ng mga tao or yung mga professionals. Pero 
ikaw saan ka mas ano? The sweet, a sweet or the company bosses, yung mga presentation na formal, bagay ka rin doon. Hindi yeah, yeah. ko narinig. Narinig lang kita. Ayun nga sa G, sa isang network. <laughs> Sasabihin ko pa yan. No? Okay, tapos. Ayun. Pero ikaw, ikaw, saan, saan ka mas komportable? Now, at this point, uh, where I am now, I'm more interested or more comfortable in the corporate sounding, more formal, like mm-hmm. APPs or audiovisual presentations. Hindi uh, mm-hmm. na masyadong, although kaya pa rin naman, character voices, as a mommy, as a tita, as a lola. As in, nag-grade yung drama ka na rin? Or yung... Uh, I think I've done that before, pero I didn't, siguro pasundot-sundot lang. More on the commercials. Mm. More, more on doing commercials. The short ones. Diba? Mga 30, a 30 seconder, one mm. minute or dun tayo on TV and radio. And eventually, naging, of course, social media na ngayon, digital. Kasama uh-huh. na yun. Kasama na rin yun. Plus, corporate AVP. Yeah, bagay, bagay talaga sa yung AVP, yung corporate na, na imagine ko talaga yung voices mo. Pero may, may, may limitation yan eh. Kapag naging network voice ka na, hindi ka pa pwedeng basta-basta rin makuha sa ibang mga projects kasi ang maririk ko lagi ay yung network. May mga ganong instances na uh, hindi ka na kinuha or sayang or hindi ka na nga, hindi ka na yeah. consider dahil nga nakilala oh, na yung voices mo. To, yeah, you have to give um, respect to to where you are connected to at the moment. Diba? Okay. Oh, I'm sure ligan to. Bawal sabihin yung network, pero bigyan mo kami ng sample ng bosses mo dun sa network. Pa- <laughs> oh, safe yun, ha? Hindi. Okay. Uh, this is Pinoy in Australia. This program is Pinoy in Australia, the podcast with DJ Papa Kiko. If it sounds like, then, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Wala yung ano, happy SOP to you. Wala mo. <laughs> Sa'yo yun nang galing. Oh. Okay. Hindi ako nang ako na, ako na nagsabi. Happy Pinoy. Okay. What to you? <laughs> happy Pinoy in Australia to you. Yun. Okay. Merong instances na na-recall ka sa public places. Nagsasalita ka, ma'am, parang may kaboses ka. Oh, one part, ito, if I may then. Okay, yeah, but there, uh, there, uh, there have been instances, but not very many. It's mm. not like they see you on video all the time. Kasi mm-hmm. yun, so like facial recognition. But it's something I treasure, the privacy. Mm-hmm. Diba? Uh, I like, uh, yeah. um, there are times when when yeah, parang, Shirley, sounds like you. Uh, ako yung, ako nga yan. Oo, oh, ako lang, ako lang. Ganun lang. Uh, pero yun nga, uh, what was I saying earlier? Um, there's a difference in just being heard than in being regularly seen. Kasi pag mm-hmm. kilala mo mukha mo, mm-hmm. uh, now, well, well, you have to let go of some privacy. Yep. Um, yep. Some degree of privacy in your life. And you always have to be more careful in the way you conduct yourself in public, right? Mm-hmm. Compared to you're just a voice and you're not associated, your voice is not usually associated with a face. So mm-hmm. there's privacy in there. Although hindi na nangyayari kasi digital na, mahirap. Mm-hmm. Ayon. Pero noon, mas, and even in radio, mas may privacy if you stick to the real the the strict sense of the word radio uh, you like. so if you like if you value privacy <laughs> <laughs> tama tama eh ikaw pa naman di ba you value privacy so much di ba oh napaka private mong tao oh yan okay dagdag ko lang there are times when uh, you have to be a little bit more uh ano ba uh emphatic in some in some situations, for example, okay. sa traffic or pagka nagko-complain ka sa isang uh-huh. produkto. So medyo siguro kailangan tumaas ang boses mo. Eh kung kilala ka, <laughs> more kado ka. Oh. <laughs> more kado ka. Oh, tama, tama. You know what I'm saying? I agree, agree. Oh. 
Yeah. So along with the video aspect or along with being seen or having mm -hmm. the audience having a facial recognition of a personality, mm -hmm. that personality has more responsibility over her conduct in public. You know? Like, uh, yeah, pwedeng mamalengke yung pa rin ng boses pero nakapambahay lang si Ms. Shirley. Pabili! <laughs> Isang kilo. <laughs> Di ba you respect the language? Magkano to? 20? 30? Ang mahal naman. 20 na lang. O, di ba? Ang mahal naman. 30? 30? 30 ako sa palengke. Mm. Yeah, Trenta. pero, Miss Shirley, uh, ano ka rin eh, di ba? Nagko-correspond ka rin sa international channel. Tama ba? Yung last time na nagkwentuhan tayo. Well, you are a news writer, reporter for a foreign channel? I did just, uh, I did that before for some time. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It was the experience again on the Shampra International it's News so Channel. Well, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, well, the fact that you still handle the news doesn't change the formula. You mm. just stick. So, means that there are Ano ba, uh, mas iba yung salita na ginagamit nila. So, mm. magiging, uh, di ko alam kung naiintindihan nyo ako sa sinasabi ko, pero mas iba yung salita, yung choice of words nila. Yeah. Sa, babag sa pagsusulat mo. Um, o kaya, iba rin yung kanilang pronunciation. So, mm. medyo kahit bulbul na yung dila mo, mm. mag adapt ka sa kultura nila. Okay. Pero how do you keep yourself updated sa mga nangyayari sa paligid? Or ito, uh, pagdating mo lang sa office, catch up, or talagang part na talaga ng routine ni Shirley Escalante na bago matulog, kailangan ba may headline na ako for tomorrow? Or I know, at least the last minute before I sleep, eh, alam ko yung <laughs> what's going on around? Or paano? paano? Uh, as a news person, it's your responsibility to know the news. Yun mm. lang yun. Ngayon, kung paano mo aayusin yan sa buhay mo para magkaroon ka naman ng uh, sense of equilibrium <laughs> at pressured all the time at nakakapag-relax ka na, mm. diskarte mo na yun. Pero as a news person, you can never be a news person if you don't know the news, if you're not updated. The news is always changing. Mm -hmm. No minuto, segundo. Pwede ang pagbabago ng news is segundo. Pag, let's say, there's an earthquake. Mm. Dalawa patay. Aba, mamaya, dumadami. Hindi pwedeng dalawa pa rin patay. Eh, sampu na pala yung patay. Dalawa ka ng dalawa dyan. Hindi ka na updated. So, uh -huh. so if, you, if you know you are in the news, you have to respect that. So, mm. you give respect to the profession or the, the craft or the career that you have chosen so mm. if it means being updated then it means being updated regularly mm. Mm. yeah surely for like less than 30 years or three decades uh yeah nakita mo yung changes din ng trend sa newscasting kasi kahit paano kahit fact yan nag-iiba naman yung style uh ano ano yung paano ma ano yung ano mapapag-compare ma, kung kaya mo o meron man yung Newscasting nun. Aside from the language, the English, the Tagalog, the obvious naman yun. Pero the content itself, uh, ano yung pagkakaiba noon ng newscasting noon tsaka newscasting ngayon? Nakita mo yan, I'm sure. <laughs> Nag-adjust ka rin dyan. Kaka-catch up ka rin dyan. Uh, Meron ba? Um, when I think about it, yun nga lang eh. I don't think there hasn't been too much of a difference. Because mm -hmm. eh, news yan eh. Iba mm -hmm. pag DJing or FM. Talagang mm -hmm. mga pagbabago. Uh, uh, it's mainly the styles, maybe. And mm -hmm. the styles like, yun nga, uh, nabanggit mo na kanina, the language. Um, baka ngayon, masasabi natin ngayon, mas... Dati naman short na eh, o uh, concise. It doesn't change. Ganun pa rin. Um, sa radio, um, 
Walang masyado. I don't Walang think. Masyado. Walang masyado. Meron lang ako napansin na, ano, yung, before kasi, straightforward, right? Like, dalawa ang namatay sa naganap na banggaan sa pagitan ng ambulansya at ang ganyan. So, ano, ngayon, kasi ito para sa akin lang, ganito, ganito nag-start yung news. Nanginginig, walang buhay, malamig ng, ng, ng datnan, ng, ng news. <laughs> so, <laughs> yun yung mga simpleng mga, yun know, mga maliliit na mas, for me, that's styling na eh, oh, na for me na meron isang modifier ng mga ganon. Kasi when, I was taught then sa, sa mass comm din na go straight, dalawang namatay. Ngayon, pag makikinig ka ngayon ng news, nanginginig, nanlalamig, sa tako. Tatlong tatlong modifier bago sabihin yung ano na? Drama ba yan? Di ba? Radio drama ba yan o news? <laughs> hindi eh. Makinig ka lang na, manood ka lang ng news ngayon. Ah, hindi. Hindi Ganito makausap. Yan. Hindi makausap. Nanginginig. At uh, ang madat na namin. <laughs> With all due respect, um, ano yan? Pag nasa anchor, babasahin nila yung lead. Yung, uh, yung summary of what's inside. Yun yep. narinig mong nanginginig, nanlalamig, halos hindi makahinga. Ano na yun? Ano yung reporter na yun? Hindi kita ma-imagine na nagsasalita. Diba? Hindi kita ma-imagine. Hindi yun yung unang bugso. Hindi yun yung unang pasok ng news. Sinabi na ng anchor. Yung lead. Uh-huh. Yung summary ng news. Style na lang yun ng reporter na sumalo o narinig. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, isang seryosong tanong. Umusta ang generally sa Pilipinas with all these issues na meron sa media yung ganyan reliability ganyan kumusta yung news and current affairs ngayon sa Pilipinas are we still uh, like the the watchdog of the society pa rin ba tayo uh, kahit iba na yung may mga online trend na ngayon minsan questionable na ang lahat dahil hindi mo na malaman kung kanino ka dahil ang dami na ngayong mga sources, nagagaling na sa tao yung news going up. Unlike nung time natin na yung news network ay nagsasabi ng news pababa. Ngayon kasi kung ano yung pinag-uusapan online, pakiyat. Oo, nag-iiba, nag-iiba yung, ano, yung routine ng news ngayon. So well, nanonotice mo ngayon. Yeah, that's because there are more sources of news now or platforms to get the news. There's social media, di ba? Mm. Minsan, kasi ngayon, pwede ka mag-tweet eh. Mm. Sino? Pwede mag-tweet. Oy, tatlo na matay. Dito, yeah. sa tweet. Ayan, brinodcast mo na sa tweet mo. ba diba? mm. Pero, authority ka ba? Kaya nga dun sa, nabanggit ko kanina, because the, you, sh- you can never lose the credibility of the news. You should always go to the authority or the, the source or the official source of the news. Tama, agree, agree. Diyan pumasok na uso yung mga ano, ano yung mga bayan patroller, mga you, you, you scooper. At ngayon, di ba may fake news? May tinatawag ng fake news dati, wala. Yun, yun yung sa- next question eh. Okay. Fake news. Okay. Diba? Ano. Doon, nagsisimula sa ilalim. May mga tweets ng kung sino-sino daw narinig niya, na nakuha niya, pero hmm. nag-verify ba siya? Pwede hmm. tama siya, which is a good thing. That's all right. Pero paano pag hindi siya tama? Hmm. Pag- Mm, tama, agree. Okay, alright, kung meron yung question na, let us know sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Maraming salamat. At mga manonood ng replay natin, Shirley Escalante po ang ating featured Pinoy worldwide. Um, yeah, before we end the show, I know na magdi-dinner na si Miss Shirley. At uh, isang oras lang usapan namin on the dot dapat. Mapapagalitan tayo ng mga news network. Okay, Miss Shirley, uh, ay, uh, ano ginagawa mo kapag uh, off, off mic, off Uh, yeah, wala kang newscast. Uh, I mean, how do you, like, syempre, kailangan natin ng avenue. We need to get a life. Please. Ikaw, ano yung mga ibang, ibang pang ginagawa? Um, namimiss ko sa totoo lang with the pandemic is mm-hmm. the social life. Eh, hindi naman sa, I, you know, hindi naman sa fabulous ang social life ko. Hindi yon. Mm-hmm. Just going out, And um, going out with a few friends, with select friends, and mm-hmm. having dinner out or having coffee, that's what I miss the most. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, we don't get it. Kasi nga, because of the pandemic, di ba, there are restrictions. You can't easily do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, ayun, I have to say, I'm just enjoying cable TV. Ano ba yung mga guilty pleasure mo? Ano ba yung mga... And coffee. 
I love coffee and sleep. Talaga. <laughs> ano ka ba? Wala ka bang ano, yung mga BTS, panati ka ba? Yung mga ganyan? O opa-opa ka rin ba? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No comment, no comment. Hindi ko naman tatanungin, hindi ko rin naman kilala yung mga yun eh. Okay. Alright. Bago tayo mag-goodbye. Maraming salamat kay Ja, Duldulaw, uh, Mrs. David, good evening kay Ayer. Ma'am Shirley, pasampol naman ng, pasampol naman ng balita sa barangay. Uh, laki na ni Ayer, Miss Shirley ah. Wow. Oh, Binatilyo na, 12 years old na. Oh. Oh, so sample naman ng balita sa barangay. Sample Wala daw. Nadala, ano ba 'yon? Ano bang meron ka diyang script na ah, pwede mo? Ma- Kaso ang na bitbit ko, English eh. Oh, okay, yan, okay yan. Gusto lang naming marinig yung ano. Sige. Yung um, pinagsama-samang discipline at passion and <laughs> pinatagal lang panahon. <laughs> ano na ang bitbit ko? Ito na. Sige. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, three, two, one. Quarantined and locked down by March 2020, Filipinos struggled with unemployment and income reduction. I didn't say Filipinos because it's Filipinos. Okay. But instead of, yeah, because, but instead of drowning in adversity, Filipino ingenuity prevailed. As a country quickly adjusts to the new normal, Filipinos found new ways to work to shop, to learn, and to do business. This inspired the government to light up various initiatives and programs to boost Filipinos' enterprising and resourceful spirit and reignite the competitiveness of the industry and service sectors. That's it. Oh, wow. Thank you. Sarap. Ang sarap pakinggan. Alam mo mga kababayan, nung nasa FM ako, ako yung tinutukoy niya na DJ na hindi nag on ng microphone. Pag nang... Ayun, okay. Okay. Na. <laughs> Nakatito lang kami sa kanya sa tuwing nag-news ka siya dahil grabe. Ang galeng. Ang galeng. Ang galeng talaga ni Miss Shirley. Uh, sabi ni Jadol Dilao, Shirley, Shirley na Miss Shirley. Okay. Shirley na Shirley siguro yung ibig niya sabihin. Ano? para nakikinig si Barangay siguro to. Maraming salamat po. Uh, sa lahat ng mga nanood sa atin and sa mga manonood na ating replay. Thank you, mga kababayan, sa pagsama sa atin. Uh, yeah, Miss Shirley, last question before we end the show. Uh, lagi tayong proud sa mga kababayan natin dito sa Pinoy National Leader Podcast sa kahit anong industry like you. Uh, you're representing the Philippines well, of course, sa pagdating sa pinili mong career. Bakit the best yung mga or bakit nag uh, nag nag stand out tayo mga Pinoy kahit sa ang industry kahit anong career sa palagay mo bakit the best sa mga Pinoy because Filipinos are talented i think even you you guys down under <laughs> <laughs> Filipinos down under you shine i think mm. Filipinos are talented Filipinos are um resilient people Filipinos mm. know how to um be friends with people. Mm, they agree. So, they know how to relate to people. They know how to make friends. You know, pag yung mga banyaga na ano, they always feel sorry, they always feel special. They always feel special in in the company of a Filipino. I think kasi Filipinos respect. Magaling tayo sa respect. We respect yung mga laking Pilipinas. Dala Dama. nila yung respeto ng kultura. I think. So wow. that. That's the point. Surely, maraming maraming salamat. Meron ka bang gustong batiin bago tayo mag-bye-bye uh, time? Of course, to my friends in Australia, my uh, relatives in Australia, in Sydney, my friends in Melbourne. Mm. In, um, yeah, mainly those <laughs> those places. Yeah, my uh, family. Have you been here? in Perth. Yep, I've been there. I uh, I think, sorry, uh, 2003. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in Sydney, Canberra, and Melbourne. Mm, wow. Nice, talo mo pa ako. Hindi pa ako nakakarating sa mga 
Canberra. Oh, sh- dahil pandemic. Dahil, oh, yan. In Canberra. Nax! <laughs> diba? Tama, tama. Kailangan. Hindi kompleto ang Australian, ano mo, uh, experience mo kapag wala kang picture sa Canberra at saka sa Sydney. Sorry. Diba? <laughs> With a koala. Ay, uh, surely, ano pala, sorry ah, sorry, missing it ko lang ulit. Ano yung mga latest na headline ngayon? Ano yung biggest news ngayon sa Philippines? Uh, it's always still, um, well, COVID. aside from COVID, COVID updates, okay. uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng, ano yun, nagkaroon ng rotational brownouts or uh-huh. salit sa lutang uh-huh. brownouts sa uh, Luzon dahil mm-hmm. nagkaroon ng um, uh, manipis na supply ng kuryente, hindi sufficient. So, mm-hmm. may mga power plants na nag-bog down sa Quezon, pagbilaw, for a while, mm-hmm. nangyari yun. Uh, Ilihan, I think, is the Ilihan power plant in Batangas. Um, this week, medyo nag-bog down. Pero naibalik na. And the Suwal power plant in Pangasinan, nagkaroon mm-hmm. ng problema. Pero lahat sila back in operation na ngayon. Mm-hmm. Plus, the rainy season officially says pag-asa, our weather bureau. Oh. The Philippines. Ingat kapag the drive ni Shirley. Oh, ingat kapag the drive. <laughs> Maraming salamat sa yo. Thank you for doing this. We learned a lot. We learned a lot. And uh, papanoorin, papanoorin kito pagdating ng uh, panahon. Alam mo yon. Sarap balik balikan ng conversation natin ito. And sana maulit. One time, pag meron tayong topic ulit about broadcasting or news writing naman minsan, uh, invitahan ka namin ulit para marami ka pa kami matutunan from Love Life. What? Hindi! <laughs> Talk to Papa na, Miss Shirley. Talk to Papa na. Bye! <laughs> Maraming salamat sa'yo. God bless you. God bless you. All right, I'll see you soon. See you soon. All right. Ang ating uh, kababayan, ang ating featured Pinoy worldwide for this episode, Miss Shirley Escalante, all the way from Quezon City, Philippines. Usapang uh, radio newscasting and usapang voice over talent tayo. Again, share niyo po sa mga friends niyo na mahilig or into this, alam mo yun, uh, mahilig sila sa ganitong uh, industriya or ito yung plano nilang kunin soon, yung mga bata na nanonood sa atin ngayon or broadcaster and parents mo, share mo to para uh, makilala nila si Miss Shirley Escalante. And I'm sure pag narinig ng boss ni Shirley, ah, siya pala yun. Mapapagano na sila. Makikilala na nila sa palengke. Okay na tumatawad. <laughs> okay, biro lang. Maraming salamat po for watching again on Wednesday. Architect uh, Jay Portem will be joining me for Usapang Pamana ng Lahi. Uh, Jason Portem uh, with regards to National Heritage Month last May. Medyo late na to pero... Yeah, we'll be glad to talk about more. Alam mo yun, pag-usapan ng mga pamana natin na hindi na napapag-usapan. Anselmo Catalia, yang achiever naman tayo next Friday with Ayer. David will be joining us. And uh, meron ako in-invite na choir from the Philippines as well para kumanta sa atin next Friday. And, and syempre, uh, sa, sa Saturday naman, next Saturday, ako po ay host ng Filipino Australian Brisbane Society Incorporated for their the for their Philos Festival. Yeah, nagbubulol ako doon. Yeah, Philos Festival. So pupuntahan ko po yung iba't ibang mga Pinoy restos and stores dito sa Gold Coast at sa Brisbane. Lima po kami para i-report yung mga nangyayari as we celebrate Philippine Independence Day. On June 12, of course. Maraming salamat for for always supporting the show. Paki-follow po kami sa Instagram at sa Facebook, of course. TikTok as well. Well, meron pong TikTok ang Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. And of course, pakisubscribe po yung YouTube channel natin, Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. That's about it for your this, for your Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. All right, for this episode, ako po si DJ PK Papariko at Papariko971 on Instagram. Nararandom na ako. <laughs> Ito po ang Pinoy in Australia, the podcast. Usapang Pinoy. Enjoy Pinoy. I love you. We love you. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. Bye.
joy to 